Hey, mathematicians, we're going to play 10 frame matchup today. So it's a matching game with your 10 frame cards and their numbers. So you need to get um, both your 10 frame cards and your number cards. If you don't have them, pause me now. Um, go ahead and take the rubber band off of the numeral cards. And you're going to set it up just like you would any other matching game. We could try, let's try rows of five. Let's see, one, two. Sorry, three, four. And then I'm gonna have one more over here, but I see that you won't be able to see that. So let me try to slide these over a little bit more. There's four and five. So go ahead and make your rows of five. You can be setting up what I set up as well. And you're going to try to match the total on the 10 frame with its number. And careful, they do get kind of stuck together. All right, I'm going to add these in. Now, you won't be able to see my whole setup here, but you just keep turning your cards over face down. So that means numbers down, 10 frames down. You set up your grid, your matching game grid here. All right, I'm almost done setting up. So it looks like you'll have to have a few extras. So maybe rows of six would have been a better idea. Sorry about that. Yeah, it looks like you could do four rows of six. So again, here's my four rows and then they go over off to the side of my table there. So four rows of six. When you play the game, you're gonna turn over one card and say how many. So that's two. And then I'm looking for the 10 frame that has two dots on it. Ooh. So for good practice, you're still gonna practice counting your total here. So we've got five, six, seven, eight. Or you might've seen this is three and three is six, seven, eight. So, eight and two, they do not match. So you just turn it right back over and then, oops, and then go again. So you turn it over, say what you got, three, and then turn over another card, oh, zero. So three and zero, not a match. So I've got to flip them back again and keep going. Well, there's four. I'm gonna try one down here. Oh, and there's two. When you do have a match, go ahead and take them off and leave them face up off to the side. All right, and you're gonna keep on flipping, naming what you got and getting your matches when you find a match. When it's time to clean up, it will be helpful if you put all of your 10 frame cards together and then all of your number cards together because there'll be a day when we play a game and we need just our 10 frame, or excuse me, just, yeah, just our 10 frame cards, sorry. So go ahead and sort them back. And then when you're done sorting, you can take your rubber band and put it around your number cards and ask a grown up if you need help. Um, hope you have fun playing the 10 frame and number matchup game.